Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this. I'm gonna call this one putting it back. If you were gonna use this design, and basically it's the same thing twice, but if while you were cleaning it up, because you'd have to clean this up with the smoothing tool, you might have changed some of the factors. And if you wanted both of them to be identical, then you might want to do what I'm going to do and split it apart and then put it back together. So let's just make this one a little bit different. Uh, let's get the uh, shape tool and let's change the shape of this item like that. Let's bring, let's right click and turn that into a cusp. And then by doing that, I won't change but one side of it. So we've changed that quite a bit. And let's even make this a little different. Let's elongate this pedal. So now this side does not match this side. So we're gonna do what we did before. And I'm, so I'm gonna make a duplicate of this, Control D, so we can see the difference. And I'm gonna get my line that I used before and just draw a line down the middle Let's zoom in here, grab our shape tool to get it more in the middle. And let's use this, our friend, the Smart Fill tool to fill that in. Well, and you see what happened up here. I've got the graphic from the original deal is blocking the fill. So I'm gonna Smart Fill that again. I'm gonna nudge it over. I'm just gonna move it over because I don't have to nudge it back. I'm going to left click, right click. So I've got half the item, but I'm gonna, I got this flat spot still to get rid of. So just like we did in the last video, and I think I failed to mention that these are probably all curves. So it's gonna, when it breaks it apart, it should remain a curve. And I think in the last video, so I'm gonna change it up now because I don't wanna change it up later and because I want it to be identical. And remember, we made that branch longer. So now let's control D and make a duplicate and then change that duplicate to, to 270 degrees, which is 90 degrees, and just bring this over till they're almost touching. And you could do, you know, for the video, I'm not going to do it, but you could... It is at a 90 degree angle and their two bottoms are kind of touching. So we're good to go really. So then I'm going to grab it, everything and weld it. Now I'm going to fill it in. And let's go ahead and fill in this one. And all I'm doing is right clicking on the fill. So now this was not identical to that one where this one is identical to this one. You can see the elongated and the curves the same. So there's more than one reason maybe to cut something in half. And also when you're cleaning it up, you only have to clean up one of them. You don't have to clean up both of them. Hope that made a little sense because see, here's his original and you've got a lot of cleaning up to do after you trace it. You could only clean up this, this part and not worry about this part and just delete it out to make your copy, especially if it was a lot more detailed than this and you wanted it symmetrical. You know, if you want to use this uh, many times and, and uh, you know, control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button and flipping it over. I mean, there's a cool design right there. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Do the same thing again. Control D and make a duplicate still hold down the control button and move it this way. It kind of helps snap it, snaps to, you know, the rotation of the area. That's a pretty cool design. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.